Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Top Scholars. Today, we'll be discussing about methods of preparation of methane and ethane. Now, friends, let's talk about the laboratory preparation of methane using sodium acetate. Now, friends, when sodium acetate is heated with soda lime, now what is soda lime? Soda lime is a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide. So, what happens over here is it results in the formation of methane and sodium carbonate. Now, let's see how is the sodium carbonate and methane actually formed over here. Now, COOONA of sodium acetate and NaO of sodium hydroxide, they combine to give you sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3. Now, what is left behind is CH3 of sodium acetate and H of sodium hydroxide which combine to give you CH4 that is methane, right? So, this is how when you react sodium acetate with soda lime, it gives you methane and sodium carbonate. Now, friends, let's try to prepare ethane using sodium propionate, right? Now, if you take sodium propionate and react it with soda lime, which is a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide, you simply heat sodium propionate with this soda lime. What happens is, it results in the formation of ethane and sodium carbonate. Now, friends, can you tell me, from where does this ethane and sodium carbonate come from? Yes, what happens over here is, COONA of sodium propionate and NaO of sodium hydroxide combine to give you sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3. What about ethane? From where does ethane come? Now what happens over here is, what is left behind is C2H5 of sodium propionate and H of sodium hydroxide which come together to give you ethane that is C2H6. So, friends, you can prepare methane using sodium acetate and you can prepare ethane using sodium propionate. In both the cases, what you do is, you actually heat sodium acetate and sodium propionate with soda lime, which is a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide, right? Now, friends, let us see the next method. The next method is by using iodomethane. Now, what is iodomethane? Iodomethane is simply methyl iodide. Now, methyl iodide is simply reduced by using nascent hydrogen at ordinary room temperature. Now, how is this nascent hydrogen produced? Nascent hydrogen is produced by simply reacting zinc powder with dilute hydrochloric acid. So, what happens over here is we have methyl iodide. When we react this methyl iodide with nascent hydrogen. What happens over here is nascent hydrogen reduces methyl iodide into methane along with hydrogen iodide, right? So, here you can see there is something written over the arrow, right? What is written? Zinc or copper couple and alcohol, right? Which means that this reaction takes place in the presence of zinc or copper couple and alcohol, right? So, what happened over here was, yes, we took methyl iodide and we reacted it with nascent hydrogen. So, what happened over here is, nascent hydrogen reduced methyl iodide into methane as you can see over here. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.